Divided by distance, but united in tribute. Australians told to stay home, turning on their television instead for an Anzac Day like no other. The commemorative dawn service at the War Memorial, normally a moment for quiet reflection, this year eerily silent. The Prime Minister leading the tribute. And so our remembrances today, small, quiet and homely, will be. And our heroes, they still walk amongst us. Telling the nation to draw on the memories of those who served as we face the current coronavirus fight. And so together, with faith in each other, and guided by the lives and example of those who have gone before, we grasp that torch and we raise it high again, lighting up the Anzac dawn, lest we forget. The service held inside the Hall of Memory, with the Governor-General and Chief of Defence among the few to lay wreaths. As wreaths were displayed above the eternal flame to mark those who couldn't be present. The Labor leader echoed the Anzac spirit. It is a very difficult day, but one of the things that today does as well is to put in perspective uh, the sacrifice that we're being asked to make today to keep uh, Australians safe. Uh, we're being asked to stay at home. It's the third time that services have been cancelled, the last in 1942 during World War II and in 1919 during the devastating Spanish flu outbreak. The Anzac Day dawn service in Canberra usually attracts around 30,000 people. This year, the chief medical officer in fact had to grant special permission for even a scaled back service to take place. The annual Anzac Day march has been cancelled and the parade ground here eerily quiet as social distancing forces an Anzac Day like no other. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.